So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. I have had the Samsung Galaxy S9 now for about one month and I wanna share with you in this video basically what my experience has been like using the smaller Galaxy S9 and if it's still worth it. Samsung actually just released today a 128 gigabyte model of this phone as well as a 256 gigabyte model as well. So now you can get even more storage than the one I picked up on day one which is the 64 gigabyte edition. This is the all new lilac purple color. So let's begin with the design. So beginning with design, over my past month with the Galaxy S9, it's felt basically very premium and just like a refined version of the Samsung Galaxy S8 that came before it. This phone has a little bit of a shorter feel to it and a little bit of a wider feel, which over my month's time made it feel, I'd say a little more compact, closer in line to the iPhone 10 when it comes to feel in hand every day. It's very easy to one hand this phone, but if you do have the smallest of hands, it's still gonna be a reach up to the top, but Samsung has included the one-handed mode, which makes it even easier to reach to the bottom. But overall, in my past month, like I say, the build, the design, it's clean, it's nice, it's refined, but it's nothing out of the ordinary compared to last year. So because the S8 was out already, it's not like it's super innovative, it's super different. It's just clean, refined, and just better than last year, which is probably, this should have been the first Samsung Galaxy S8 instead of putting that fingerprint scanner up here. So overall, I've enjoyed it quite much over my past month using S9. Now, in terms of software, the Samsung Galaxy S9 is not everybody's cup of tea. Like, you know, it might not be yours. It's not always mine, but sometimes I do like having all the features that the software does have to offer on the Samsung Galaxy S9. And it's just easy to say, well, this is the best iteration of the software ever, but it actually has been in my experience. Like, it literally performs much faster than prior versions and kind of what I've been expecting Samsung to do for the longest, and that is make their software as fast as all the features that it's offering. So like make it speedy because you're giving so many features, we don't wanna have a laggy experience. And the Galaxy S9 is the best version of that ever. Now, I did have one lag only one time when I was using multi-window, the top bar where you do hold the multi-window did lag out just a little bit but other than that there hasn't been one problem and it's not like you know apple on their iphones is not victim of this either they sometimes do have apps that crash and go all wonky on the screen so i'm not going to knock samsung too much for one lag in one month we're not going to talk too much more about the camera because i've already talked about it a ton i did a galaxy s9 plus versus iphone 10 comparison this has basically the same camera but this is really the story the camera reimagined and what has my thoughts been with this one well if you never need that telephoto lens, you're basically getting one of the best cameras that the market has to offer today. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious, you know, you know, I'm going to say it's a good camera because I'm not going to sit up here and say it's not. But one thing about this phone is that it does shoot a little bit soft. So if you do like a more detailed, more natural look, you're going to be better served by maybe an iPhone, a Huawei phone, or even an LG phone. They shoot more natural looking photos. The Samsung definitely shoots a more vibrant, sometimes more pleasing for social media photo. But on the whole, I would say that it's a fantastic camera and it really excels in low light photography. So if you are taking pictures in low light, this is where you really, really want to take a serious look at the S9 series of device. I think the Galaxy S9 with Dolby Atmos enabled is the loudest smartphone you could get on the market today, even louder than those of the iPhone 10. Now, while the iPhone 10s do sound a little more full and maybe a little bit better to somebody's ears and some people's ears, the Galaxy S9 is extremely loud and very well. Battery performance. What has battery performance been like on the Galaxy S9? Well, it's been, I wouldn't say the best I've ever seen, but it's definitely not been, you know, disappointing. Like it'll get you through the day. Push it hard, you're gonna have to top up midday. But if you don't push it hard, just like all the other smartphones on the market, the Galaxy S9 is definitely gonna go the full day. So no issues with the battery life overall. I think for, you know, just a casual user, heavy users, take a look at the plus. You're not gonna want the smaller 3000 cell in this one. But if you wanna know raw numbers, I'm getting about four to five hours on screen time consistently with the S9. Also, the standby time is not too shabby either. So consider picking up the S9 Plus if you do want the better battery life, but you're definitely getting through the day here on the S9. Fast charging and wireless charging were always handy. I never really used the wireless charging, to be honest, in my time using it, but the fast charging has been impressive. But what have I enjoyed most about the Galaxy S9? Let's just me and you talk right now about what I think 
has been the most enjoyable aspect of this phone? Well, I would say mostly the speed improvements. It's just been very fast compared to prior Samsung phones. It's what I've always wanted to see in a Samsung device. Also, I do really like the camera, specifically in low light. In the daytime, I can't really tell too much of a difference between any other phone on the market in this price category. However, at nighttime, I can really, really see that difference. Also, I like the slow-mo features, the fun AR emoji, and the 4K60. A lot of people complain, well, it can only do five minutes. If you're making movies, you don't really need to record more than five minutes at a time, but if you're doing interviews and things like that with your phone, then it's gonna be a problem at 4K60. But just throw it in 4K30, and you can go for 10 minutes, and that should be plenty enough. I also liked having expandable storage. I know a lot of people think this is a dying thing on phones, and it might be, but I really like taking the SD card out, popping it in the camera, popping it in the computer, and I'm good to go. That's a really nice feature. Cloud storage is still not as convenient as a physical storage because you can't access it unless you're online. So expandable storage has been great. And overall, just this new lilac color. It is pretty nice to see and just a refined build. So it's a good smartphone. It hasn't blown me away just because using an S8, it's not that much different. But if you haven't jumped from like an S7, you're gonna love the Galaxy S9. So I do still recommend it after one month of use and you can now get it with more storage on both the Plus and the smaller version. So what do I look forward to seeing? I look forward to Samsung stretching this display to an all display. I look forward to them improving even more so on the camera game since Huawei came out with the P20 Pro. I also do look forward to Samsung giving us a little bit better battery life and for them to just continue improving on their software and the performance of it. It's getting pretty good now for a Samsung device. So yeah, you can see, I don't think you can go wrong with it, but what do you think? Do you have an S9? How has it been like for you? Share with the community down below your thoughts. Rather wait for the S10. Do you got another smartphone that you're like, stop i just don't want a samsung i don't like them all let us know down below if you found this video helpful enjoyable do me a favor click that like button for me i'm sorry if the audio wasn't pro great i am outside we have to use lav mics and we have to go to other solutions out here i'm going to be getting like a new microphone soon that rejects outside noise it's called like a sennheiser mkh 4 416 something like that it's like one of the best shotgun mics for outside and uh, yeah, catch you all on the next one. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.